So in the other interviews, they was asked me to ask you about 051 Melly. Did you know him, or you ain't really... You, nah, you ain't really. I, I, I ain't know 051 Melly, though. Um, shit, I was... Me and Ocho used to be over on 051, so I knew Fathead, Pre-Boy. If I did know Melly, 051 Melly, I didn't know him. I probably seen him type shit, but I ain't know him personally or nothing like that. Not at all. Okay. Now who who was who would you say was like the biggest op from O Block, bro? Like I mean not from O Block. I was who, say what? Yeah, that was the, who do you think was the biggest op that, that we o, had? Yeah, like I so. say E B T S T L was our first like biggest ops, but nigga the ops that I say that we knew was really out here really, really O five one. When they started getting up and doing shit, they terrorized it. It took them a minute. They kinda was a, a like slightly newer. Then, 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 like STL and all those shits, but them niggas was really getting shit done on their behalf. But I, obviously, like STL, EBT, they was a more of a, a imminent threat. Them niggas was fucking blocks away, literally. How, how far was it away? Like two vlogs. Nigga, Vaughn did that. Vern, Vern, Vern did that shit um, on Vernon. Oh wait, he even he even on a verse, nigga, on a verse that he did the shit. He he did the shit on um. He, he, it was on Vernon. Look up the song where Vaughn mentioned the, the verse about something about Vernon, because that's what he did to K.I. shit, that nigga. He said, he said something about Vernon, and then, nigga, he, um, and then, yeah, he went into that. But then, I wish I could uh, remember the lyrics, but, uh, nigga, that was like a one block. I think Vernon was probably like one block over from King Drive, one, two block over. Like, it was Vernon. They had like three blocks, nigga. Eberhardt, STL, uh, and Vernon. So, like, shit. Yeah. Now, on the outside looking in, bro, I would think that. I would think that Tuka is the most hated from y'all side because of his name can't get mentioned. What what do you remember about the the time when Tuka got killed at the bus stop, man? Like being in O Block. I know you you can't really speak on too much because yeah. it's probably people that still alive that you can't really you know talk about. But what what do you remember about that day or that week when Tuka got killed? Well, first and foremost, nigga, I was like, nigga, I seen Tuka cut like probably a couple of days before he got killed. And like Tuka was a, a lot of people might think that he's a threat and he's overly game banging, but man, Tuka was a shorty when he got killed. It, it was basically niggas knew where he was from and we was in tour with them niggas. So I don't know if bro and them seen that shit like a, a quick score or like this to make them niggas mad or whatever it was. But man, Tuka was in then it's fucked up cause they ended up like, you know, some shit ended up happening with his pops uh, on a block two. Like, they ended up killing that nigga dead. They killed that nigga dead on a block. Like After? Yeah. So they Tuka, his dad stayed in O Block. His daddy stayed in O Block. But Tuka messed with the other side, though. Tuka, look, Tuka did. Yeah, Tuka did. The same name and him all that. He was like, oh, he can get around. He was like married. I don't know if he's really married, but he was fucking with one of our homies named Booch, if y'all know Booch. Him and Booch, OG, they got baby together and all that, probably more than one. Him and his OG, they, um, they lived, like, they lived in Parkway for a long time. And I'm, I'm about to give y'all a, a story that not too many motherfuckers even, even know about. And, and I was just gonna show solely, just drop this straight on my shit, but this a crazy story. Like, nigga, with Tuka Daddy, this was a motherfucker seen his daddy walking and they told one of the little guys that like one they know it was it was a new shorty who really don't know nothing about nothing Tuka did he been staying over there for forever literally if you know anything about the block you hang with one of like nigga his baby mama's son which is Booch and all the guys know the fuck Boo man that's what I call him Boo man but all the guys know Booch anyway man nigga seen his daddy walking one of the older guys. And they told one of the little guys, sent them off, like, hey, y'all know this Tuka daddy? Oh, this was after Tuka died. This was after, nigga, this shit was like a year, a year ago. This shit, a year or two ago, nigga, if that. A mm. year or two ago, man. So he told, he, he, he whispered, tell him, like, man, first and foremost, this is, hey, y'all, I come out and I speak my truth about this shit, because this shit got to stop. This drip, it ain't no loyalty, ain't no love in this shit. This shit is weird. It's a bunch of, Niggas who got spirits running within them, they don't even understand this shit making that's that's making them do this shit. I can't have no love for niggas that even once would have took me out. So y'all, y'all keep 
feeling like I'm supposed to have a loyalty to a block that was never going to be loyal to me. They ain't even loyal to each other. But yeah, man, they they whispered a little bro, yeah, man. They literally followed this nigga up to his crib, nigga. Shot him at his door. Nigga shot him in his head, killed him at his doorway. He trying to get in the crib, they kill him. All off of what one of the big guys told them, like, y'all know that's Tuka Daddy. But not Listen telling like, them, like, nigga, he fucked with one of y'all homies. And he been over there for years. Yeah. So this was like two years ago. He got killed. I, I, I don't block. even know if it was a two years ago. It was from two years to a year. Like he got killed in old block. An old block, nigga. Right, nigga. They literally killed him at his. How, how, how could how can Tuka dad stay in old block knowing that Tuka, Tuka was in old block a couple days before he got killed, bro? This shit wasn't as crazy as it was years ago. Tuka, like, we was in tour with them, but, like, we stay so close apart. Nigga, we used to be fighting with, uh, play fighting with Terrence and them. Nigga, I remember being on, on Vernon. Nigga, play fighting with them niggas, but we was faking to it, but it wasn't really all the way there because it was like the big guys used to box them niggas, yeah. but it was just boxing. And then when dude niggas get to slide, and after Tuka died, then shit got real. After okay. Tuka died, shit got real. Nigga, they killed, oh, on Tuka death day or anniversary day that next year. Yeah. Whatever, whichever one it was, because last time y'all gay ass started, who he lied. Oh, yeah. He was a big, but, you, you weirdo ass niggas. This still the same shit. It was a day for Tuka, wasn't it? I think, because you, I think they was saying, like, oh, what Boss Top said on the Vlad interview that he was locked up. But yeah, I, remember I said you, 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 said, you said Boss Top or BJ. I yeah. can't remember. It was a long ass time ago. Yeah, like, a nigga not gonna remember, like, every fucking moment of that shit. Like I said, I don't got, it be making me mad, bro. Like, I don't got a lot of you lame ass niggas, bro. You niggas is bitches. I don't got a lot of y'all. I don't care that much to get out here. And, and, and one, niggas ain't pressing me how they, they should be because I ain't lying. If I was out here lying on niggas' names, they'd be pressing me. You can't press no nigga that's telling the truth. Yeah. Because they know I got... Yeah. So you said after two, after the Tuka joint, that's when shit really got real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 